This is the first ever baby monitor to decode and translate your baby's cries so that you can figure out what they need faster. Hi, I'm Julie, I'm a babyless mom of two, and in this video, we're gonna take a look at how the C Pro 360 from Maxi Cozy works, what makes it different from other smart baby monitors, and test it on a real baby to see just how that cry translation technology comes to life. Click the timestamps in the description if you wanna skip ahead. My little ones are a little bit older now, but when they were first born, I couldn't always tell the difference between a gassy cry or a hungry cry or just a fussy cry. And while I eventually learned their language, it would have been super helpful to have a monitor like this to help with the translation. And that is what Cry Assist is, powered by a company called Zoundream, which I'll get to in a minute. Now, this isn't the first gear to listen for a baby's cries. There are smart bassinets and swings that will activate soothing sounds and movement when it hears a baby crying to help calm them down or get them back to sleep. But the biggest difference here is that the CPro 360 doesn't just hear your baby crying. It uses sound analysis based on over a million hours of testing with real newborns and AI technology to analyze, translate, and help understand your baby's cries so that you can respond to their needs quickly and more confidently. How the CPro 360 works. Okay, so let's say your baby is napping while you're watching a really dramatic TV show in the next room while you're scrolling TikTok and you're talking to a family member. The CPro 360 can tell the difference between a cry and a conversation. And so it filters out any irrelevant background noise and it waits on standby until your baby is upset. Once it recognizes your baby's cry, it gets to work decoding that cry for five different emotions or needs based. Hungry, gassy, fussy, sleepy, or agitated. A notification will pop up on the parent unit like this. But for a deeper dive into your baby's emotional state, you can connect your monitor to the Maxi Cozy Connected Family app, and there you'll get your notifications on what your baby's cries mean, along with extra info about what they might need or how to help soothe them. You can also use the app as a daily diary for your baby, tracking things like feeding sessions and sleep, so everything is connected in one spot. One of the big differentiators between this smart baby monitor and others is that everything happens in the monitor. You don't need to add a wearable device or special clothing for the CPro 360 to decipher and detect your baby's cries. The other thing is what kind of information it provides and just how often you would use that information. For example, there are smart baby monitors that will track stats like vitals and then send you an alert when your baby falls outside of a pre-approved range. And while that can be helpful for some parents, it can also introduce additional anxieties for others. What's cool about this monitor is that in those early days of parenthood, babies really only know how to communicate through crying. So rather than simply telling you that something is wrong, the C Pro 360 can help alleviate some anxiety by telling you what is upsetting your baby and then you can do something about it. You can also give it feedback on whether the guidance was helpful or not, which helps improve the Zoundream algorithm which can lead to more accuracy in cry detections. Lastly, while many baby monitors offer a dedicated parent unit like this, or Wi-Fi enabled video, the C Pro 360 gives you both options. Just keep in mind that to access the Cry Assist feature, you will need to be connected to the internet. While the standout here is definitely the Cry Assist technology, the C Pro 360 is still a video monitor that you'll likely be using when your baby isn't crying. And there are a couple things about it that are pretty standout. First, like many video monitors, this streams 2K Ultra HD video and has built-in lullabies and white noise so you can skip the separate sound machine. And there's two-way audio so you can talk to your baby when you want to soothe them with your voice. But it also supports split-screen streaming so you can view two rooms at once which is not as common especially in smart baby monitors. And there are several different ways you can save your baby's videos for the memory book either on the cloud or on physical storage like a micro SD card. Lastly there's a sensor on the camera to track your baby's room temperature and humidity levels so you can make sure your baby has the most optimal sleep environment. As I mentioned earlier this monitor comes with its own parent unit, which is something I come to really appreciate, especially when your Wi-Fi is being unreliable or you don't want to be tethered to your phone. But since Wi-Fi is involved and the monitor is going to be listening for your baby's cries, there are a bunch of safety and encryption features baked into this monitor. Like it only listens for cries, not conversations. And everything is encrypted and analyzed anonymously. So there's no way to connect your baby's cries to your baby outside of your personal devices. So let's see how this actually works on a real baby. I sent the C Pro 360 to my friend Bailey to try out with her four month old. Ah! 
As a seasoned parent, I can tell you I know how long it can take to figure out your baby's language. And for some people, not knowing what your baby needs can add extra stress on an already overwhelming situation. Nothing will replace your instincts when it comes to your baby, but the CPAR 360 is like having a handy baby translator at your side. And that can be super helpful, especially in those early days. I hope this helps. Until next time.